check out these 3D stickers I just made. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made them. Let's get into it. So I'm in Adobe Project Neo here. I'm going to go up to the right hand corner and just click create. This should put me in a blank canvas, which is great. So I've got my starting cube and my platform here. And we're just going to get started from here. So I don't need the cube actually, so I'm going to select that and just delete. And then I'm going to come over here to my uh, shapes and then we got a shoehorn here. I'm going to start by making like a stack of books since we're doing a back to school like sticker theme. We're going to draw this out. I'm going to click A on the keyboard. This will give me my little handles right here. And this is kind of like Illustrator, right? I've got my little handles and I've got my beziers. I can change, you know, what my corners look like, maybe round it in a little bit, but that's looking pretty good. So let's extend this just a little bit, maybe something like that. And it's way too big. So let's make it smaller. And I'm actually gonna put it back on the platform. Kind of gives me like a good sense of space. So this will be like the outside of the book. What I wanna do is I'm gonna change the color cause I don't wanna look at it as white. Let's do like, I don't know, maybe like an orange. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put the actual pages in there. So I'll grab my cube. And I'm just gonna draw the cube just like this. Looks a little crazy right now. What I wanna do is I wanna make it fit the height of this. So I'll grab the bottom and the top, just kind of adjust right where it needs to be. Adjust this, gonna extend it maybe to like here. Now obviously the back is going too far out. We don't want it sticking out of the back of the book. Let's extend it like this. Now let's extend this side. And then I've got issues. So I'm gonna make this like perfectly aligned. So I'll come to my align tool and just Give that little number right there. Maybe we'll do one of these two. Perfect. So now we have a little book. What I just realized is I'm actually in the 3D style right now, the realistic. And we want to do vector because we're going to do stickers. We want that certain look. So I'm going to click on vector art and look at that. Because it's that really cool, like, it looks like I illustrated it in Illustrator, right? And actually, I'm going to drop down the outline thickness to one. I just kind of like the look of that. That's great. I'm going to grab all of this and I'm just going to do command G to group this and then I'll just duplicate it. So command C, command V. We're going to put this up here like this and I'm actually going to rotate it something like that. And I want to make sure it's sitting on there good. So I'll zoom in and then I'm going to actually change this color. I don't want all the books to be the same color because that's just unrealistic, right? Maybe we'll do like a like a red. That's fine. I'm probably gonna change all the colors of this once I export this as vectors into Adobe Illustrator. So I'm not gonna get super caught up in the colors right now, but I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna duplicate this one more time and I'm just gonna throw this back on top, kind of like what we just did. Gonna rotate again, maybe something like that, just to give some variety, make it look you know, more organic, like someone actually just stacked these books on here. And again, we're gonna change the color. So I'm just gonna grab this top layer. Maybe we'll do like a blue or something. I, again, I'm not getting super caught up on the color. I'll come back and I'll change all that. All right, sweet. So just like that, I've got a nice little stack of books. This would be cool. What's really nice is like, like I said, we're doing stickers. So I can just like rotate this any way I want and then export it. So if I want it like that, great. Maybe I want it from this angle, rotate it. No big deal, which is super cool because I can't really do that with traditional illustration. So I really like that aspect. Grab all my books and I'll just group these and then I can just kind of put them over to the side because I don't need them for now. We're going to illustrate something new. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do like a pencil, I think. I think that'll be a good illustration. So let's grab, there's a certain shape I'm looking for. Let's grab the polygon and I'm just going to put this right here. Make this a lot bigger. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm actually gonna add, there we go. I want it to be like an octagon. I think that, or is it hexagon? Well, how many got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyways, I'm gonna adjust, I'm gonna add some more of those. And then we're gonna grab the cylinder tool and I'm gonna pop this right here. This will be like the, I'm sure there's a name for it, but this is like the metal part of the pencil. And then I'll actually just uh, duplicate this, Command C, Command V, make it just a touch smaller. Put it up like that and that'll be the eraser and i actually want the top corner to be rounded because you know that's kind of like what an eraser looks like so over here in my properties panel i was able to just uh, increase that top corner right here super simple so let's start adding some color because i feel like this is not translating well without color so pencil is yellow obviously and then the eraser is going to be like some type of pink Let's see, maybe something like that. I think that's probably the good shade. And then we want this little metal part to be, it's probably the right color actually. So that's good. Let's move all this up. It might need to be a little longer. So I'll just move this down a little bit. And then I need some like character right here. So let's duplicate this, Command C, Command V. 
let's make it just a little bit bigger move this up probably too big so something like that great and then i'm actually gonna copy it and paste it we'll move it down here Perfect. So now that kind of gives it a little bit more character, kind of looks more the part. I think that's great. And so now what I want to do is I want to grab all this and I need to add the the actual writing part, the the wood, the, the part that's sharpened. What, I don't know what the name for that is, but you know what I'm talking about. So we'll put that in here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to make it a little longer. Move this down. Maybe increase this a little bit. I think it might be a little too long so let's decrease that move it down a little bit all right cool so we got the the sharp part of the pencil let's make this like a brown like a light brown something let's see maybe a little darker than that oh yeah perfect now i need to add like the lead so i'll grab my cube and i'll make this black and then we'll come over here to combine and just click on color and then if i put this cube right where i want it that'll turn that whole section that dark black which is great so now it looks like a pencil super quick super easy all right so we'll grab all this we'll group it now I want to do some type of like orientation with it so I'll grab all this make it a little bit smaller don't need it that big grab this duplicate it so now I can rotate so we'll do this like here maybe I'll do another one rotate him something like this there's no real rhyme or reason to this. We're just like trying to make a good, say what would make a good composition? Cause again, I'm in the headspace of this is gonna be stickers. So something like that could be cool. We'll grab, group all this. Maybe I'll rotate it just a little bit. That's cool. I know it probably doesn't make a ton of sense right now, but it will once we turn this into stickers. All right, let's make like a binder next. So let's grab our cube right here. I'll just throw it on my platform. I like to use the platform cause it kind of helps me keep everything in line. I'm gonna roll these corners. I want this to be a little rounded. So something like that. Definitely way too thick. Like I said, it's gonna be like a little notebook binder type thing. So it's actually gonna be pretty thin. It's a little long, so maybe something like that. And I'm gonna change the color. Maybe like a aqua. Yeah, that'd be good. Let's duplicate this. Let's we'll move this down a little bit. Maybe something like that. Now we want some paper to go in the middle. So I'll actually duplicate this again. Let's change it to white. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger, decrease the size a little bit. All right, great. So now we got a little little notebook looking thing. I'm actually going to grab my cube. I'm gonna place it right in the middle. I'm gonna decrease the size like this, make it a little bit longer. I'm gonna roll it a little bit just to give it some character. And I'm actually gonna come over here to color because I want this just to be like a design on this. I'm gonna align all this. So come back to my align tool. So now what I need to do is I need to grab my cylinder tool. I'm gonna place it right in the middle. I'm gonna make it significantly smaller, but I want it to be long because I'm gonna use this to carve through. So we'll do something like that. Come over here to combine, click subtractive, carve. So now we've got one of these. Let's make it a little bigger. And I'm gonna duplicate this, put one up top, duplicate this again, put one down here at the bottom. So now I've got three holes here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here and grab my torus. So I'm actually gonna decrease the hole decrease the inflation. All right, we're gonna rotate this guy right here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to line this up in the hole because this is what's holding the uh, binder together. All right, so that looks good. Let's duplicate it. I'm gonna group these. I'll we'll put them right in the middle and they might need to be a little smaller. Might be a little big right now. All right, let's zoom out, see what this looks like. Nice, I'm liking that. So I'll take these, duplicate them. And I'm just gonna put them in the middle of the hole for each one of these holes. All right, one more time. Perfect. So now I'll group all this, come back to my composition. All right, that's looking cool. I like that. So we'll put him over here to the side again with all the other stuff. All right, let's do something a little bit more organic. So let's grab the sphere. I'm going to try to make an apple here. Let's see how this goes. So I'm going to turn this red, right? Because it's going to be an apple. And I'm actually going to duplicate this, throw it down here. And then I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. I'm going to increase the blending. So I want the blending to happen, but I don't want it to look like an egg. I want it to look like an apple. So I might need to decrease that a little bit more. All right, I'm going to duplicate this again. This time I'm going to do carve. That's way too much. So let's bring this up, make this a little bit bigger. This will be like the top of the apple, maybe something like that. And then this guy needs to come up. So let's duplicate this one more time. A lot of duplicating here. And I'm actually going to do carve on this one. I'm going to change the color to white. I want it to look like there's like a bite being taken out of the apple. 
Don't want any blending on this. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, cool. So it's starting to look like an apple. All right, so now I'm gonna make the stem. So we're gonna grab this little guy right here. And it looks ridiculous because it's way too big right now. So let's drop the size of that. Let's make it a little bit longer. Drop the size some more. We're gonna place this right in the top right here. Maybe rotate it to the side a little bit. And it's gotta be brown, right? Cause it's gonna be the stem. And then we gotta add some leaves, right? So I'm gonna use the pin shape and I'm gonna click A on the keyboard and I'm gonna, just gonna adjust this, perfect. Now let's make this like a green. This will be a leaf. We're just gonna attach it to the stem. Yeah, something like that. Maybe we need a second one too. Great, so I'll group all that. Now I can just zoom out. So I'm actually gonna delete my platform. I don't need that anymore. And I'm just gonna organize everything in a way that I feel good about to where I can export. I've got my objects organized in a way that I like them, which is great. What I wanna do too, is I'm gonna come over here to my environment and I'm just gonna rotate the light a little bit to something that I think feels good. Something I think will look good like on my stickers. So, so I'm happy with how those look. So now what I can do is I can come over here to download and I can do SVG. So let's do like, let's change my canvas to like 3000, 3000 by 2000 maybe. Yeah, it's great. And then I can go ahead and I can just export. So I'm gonna click split faces, make sure it's SVG and then I can download. So I've got my download here and I can drag it over to Adobe Illustrator. Great, so now you see I've got all of my illustrations inside of Adobe Illustrator and you can see they're all vectors, which is, I'll zoom in. You can see I can control every layer, so that's perfect. All right, so I've got all my objects. I've got my books, my Apple, my notebooks, and my pencils, which is really great. What's really cool about Adobe Illustrator and being able to export these objects as vectors is I can grab everything and I can come over here to recolor. And then I can have some really, I can have a lot of fun with the generative recolor. Like my colors are fine here. I just kind of was quickly making something, but I feel like this really refines it and gives it an overall theme. So I'm gonna play with some of this. So let's start with like Summer by the Sea, see what this looks like. So that's nice. It's kind of like subdued it a little bit. This one's kind of cool too. I mean, I like a lot of these. So I'm just gonna go through these and kind of see what I like. I really like these colors here. So I think we're just gonna roll with this. What I wanna do next is I wanna make it look like a sticker, right? So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna Command C, Command Shift V. And I'm actually going to pathfind all of it. And then I'm gonna crank this stroke up. So maybe let's do like, I don't know, let's do like 36. Just kind of guessing here. I wanna turn this white, so let's make this white. And I'm gonna throw it to the background. Yeah, I think that's a good width right there. And now you should kinda of see like, it gives me that sticker look, right? So this is what the sticker will actually look like. So let's go ahead and let's do that for all of these. All right, so now I have all of these grouped together and they look like little stickers, right? So super pleased with this. It took us no time to make this. I mean, if I were to illustrate these, it would take so much longer because to get the perspective right, the shadows and everything. So really, really cool tool. What I wanna do next is I'm going to actually export all these as PNGs and then I'll throw them into the Cricut software and we'll actually start making these stickers. So let's do that. I've got everything exported and I've uploaded it into Cricut Makerspace. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click make. And this will bring my dialog box up here. I'm using an eight and a half by 11. That's just like standard paper. And I'll go ahead and I'll select continue. So what I need to do is I need to click send to printer and I'll click next. And then I'm actually using the Epson ET2800, which is a great printer. I'll go into details about that in a minute. I actually, I like to add bleed. So what that's gonna do is just gonna add a little bit more border. So it kind of helps the cut sometimes. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's not, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use it. And then I'm gonna use system dialog as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll click print. Since I clicked use system dialog, it brings up this little window right here. So I can come to media and quality and I'm gonna do photo glossy paper. So I'm gonna select that and that'll change my quality to best. I've found that this gives me the best quality of print. So this is what I like to do, but feel free to experiment on your own if you're using a different printer or if you just wanna try different things out. Let's go ahead and let's get this printed. All right, I'm gonna get this printer loaded up. I'm gonna be using this holographic sticker paper. I think this is gonna be really cool. It should give like a shiny effect. This is what it looks like right here. So really cool paper. Hopefully this makes it look nice. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna load the printer up with this and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, side note too, I always get this question. I'm using the Epson EcoTank 2800. I love this printer. It's got individual field cartridges, not sponsored. I just, I really do love this printer. I think I got it for like 200 something dollars. I haven't had to refill the ink. I've had this for like two years. So if you're looking for a printer, Definitely recommend this. I have everything I'm using too in my description. 
I do get a little bit of a cutback from Amazon if you buy it, but again, not sponsored, do what you want, but I just really like this. All right, let's print. <laughs> Alright, print just came out, turned out super sick. Look at the quality of this. I'm really happy with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this onto my Cricut mat and then I'll feed it into the Cricut. We'll make some stickers. Let's do that. I just pulled these off of the Cricut. Let's see how this cut turned out. That's so satisfying every time. Check that out. Nice die cut stickers. Let's pull them off the mat. Check out the quality on these. I'm super stoked on this. Cut turned out really nice. Nice die cut, good border. Yeah, super pumped about that. These turned out so good. Check this out. Here's a little apple. It's got that nice little shine. Here's the notebook. Then we got the textbooks right here. I love how the shadow looks on that. And this one's probably my favorite. This is the pencils. I don't know, just super cool. I really love how these turned out. That was like maybe 30 minutes to design on Adobe Project Neo. Then I threw it over to the printer, cut it on the Cricut, and that was it. And now I got some super dope stickers just like that. I mean, it's, it's easy. It's so easy now to be creative and to be an artist and just make really cool things. And hopefully watching this inspires you guys to do the same. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. If you liked the video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.